Good morning and welcome to the third session of award videos. As you know, we have 82 winners this year, uh, 10 policies and 72 innovative practices. Uh, and we did the effort, since we cannot meet in person, to make videos about their activity. This year's topic is employment for persons with disabilities and ICT, which stands for Information and Communication Technology. We have considered this topic, ICT, so important that from now on we will include it in the call of nominations for each year because we think this is a very innovative and dynamic sector which brings a lot of benefits for persons with disabilities. Now it's celebration time. Unfortunately, there is no award show tonight which you all have been looking forward to. But we will enjoy the videos and express our gratitude and appreciation for your work. But first let me Welcome, Emanuela Zaimi. Thank you for being with us this morning. Uh, and together, we will watch now the videos. Please. What is Job Plus about? What is unique and innovative about Job Plus? 우리 프로젝트는 복지 영역에서 교육 영역에 개입한다는 것입니다. 또한 장애인들이 다양한 종류의 직업들을 경험할 수 있도록 하는 것입니다. 이는 전적으로 장애인 당사자의 생애와 욕구에 따른 것입니다. 이것은 확실히 다른 솔루션과 다른 점이라 할수 있습니다. How did this solution change your life? 나에게 맞는 일자리야 못 찾았어요. 아산정에서 치료의 이한 준비와 여러 가지 작업을 적응할 수 있었어요. 지금은 비누 만들기 작업장에서 일을 하고 있어, 있어, 있어요. 일을 할수 있어서 너무 재밌어요. How does Job Plus work? 기업 현대그룹의 사회공헌재단인 아산복지재단의 지원을 3년 동안 받았습니다. 아산복지재단은 매년 발달 장애인만을 위한 특별한 지원 사업을 하는데 이 사업에 프로포즈를 제출해서 선정되었습니다. What is next for Job Plus? 이미 한국교육부에서 오르 프로젝트를 2020년 9월부터 진행하고 있습니다. 나아가 교육부는 청소년기부터 직업 훈련을 실시하고 고용노동부가 고용을 보장할 수 있도록 제안함과 동시에 즉시 고용이 안 되는 중증장애인들은 복지 영역에서 강화된 훈련을 받을 수 있는 구조를 만드는 것입니다. 한 것이 아니라 강점을 발견하고 그에 적합한 일자리를 새로 개발하는 것입니다. What is PFDA Vocational Training Center Trust about? PFDA Vocational Training Center is a registered not-for-profit social welfare organization dedicated its service to provide learning opportunities and promote methods to empower young adults and adults with neurodevelopmental disorders so they can utilize their potential, build skills and take part in employment. We are relentlessly putting our best effort to create, develop and sustain a strong platform for them so that they can remain an asset, not a liability. What is unique and innovative about PFDA Vocational Training Center Trust? Possibly neuro disorders were not included in our society. 
there are no part of the development planning and considered as part in our society. Therefore, this method is still the exceptional method or concept in Bangladesh. This practice operates and um, outside from the conventional method has proved that they can participate in economic growth and impact uh, in our achievement of SDGs. How did this solution change your life? আমি আগে বাসায় বসে থাকতাম সবাই মনে করত আমি কোনো কাজ কাম করতে পারতাম না এখন আমি এক প্রশিক্ষণ মাধ্যমে নিয়ে চাকরি করে এখন আমি ফ্যামিলিকে টাকা দেই সবাই হাউ ডাজ পিএফডিএ ভোকেশনাল ট্রেনিং সেন্টার ট্রাস্ট ওয়ার্ক দা ফাইনান্সিয়াল মডেল স্ট্যান্ডস অন কি পার্টনার্স লাইক বিজনেস এমপ্লয়ারস সিএসআর এন্টারপ্রাইজেস ডেভেলপমেন্টাল এজেন্সিস ডোনার্স and government entities using resources for specific activities using different channels and ensure the income to survive and thrive. What is next for PFDA, Vocational Training Center Trust? Considering the gain and further expansion to reach out unmet needs through government and donor support, especially international donors, are the two areas of our focus. Secondly, we work towards ensuring the support system to cover spectrum of life from early diagnosis to peer system till their death. What is TAP about? תוכנית TAP מציעה מודל הוליסטי שנותן מענה לאנשים עם מוגבלויות. היא מחברת בין צרכי המעסיקים לבין אה, מחפשי העבודה באמצעות מודל אינטנסיבי של הכשרה מקצועית, סדנאות הכנה לעולם העבודה ותמיכה מאוד נרחבת. How does TAP work? המודל הכלכלי של התוכנית מסתמך על שיתוף פעולה מאוד משמעותי עם ביטוח לאומי, ממשלת ישראל, לאור תוצאות מרשימות של התוכנית לאורך השנים, כמו כן על שיתופי פעולה עם מעסיקים ופילנטרופים. 17,000 משרות פתוחות בשוק ההייטק בישראל. אלו משרות שלא נגישות לאנשים שמרוחקים מעולם העבודה. אנשים עם מוגבלויות, מהנדסים ערבים, נשים ואוכלוסייה מהפריפריה. באמצעות תוכנית טאפ אנחנו מחברים, מגשרים בין צורכי דורשי העבודה לבין המשרות הפנויות. What is next for TAP? המודל של התוכנית מאוד ייחודי ובעצם ניתן להפעיל אותו בכל מקום בו יש משרות מקצועיות פנויות ודורשי עבודה. How did this solution help you? Thank you for the opportunity that IBM and this program gave me and us as, as a team to, to work together and to see uh, other people uh, that maybe we thought that they are the people with disabilities but they're actually the same as us and we can learn from each other and to work together and I'm just thankful for this. What is Carrier about? Carrier is an organization support the higher educated people with disabilities as a charitable job matching platform as well as a peer support network as a student union and alumni union. We are leading by a group of staff with and without disability and using our professional HR network to support our member to get jobs. How does Carrier work? 
So now we have 12 staff uh, working in different aspects, including job matching, corporate engagement, scholarship, as well as public education. And we want to take this forward and to build an ecosystem for our member in order to get them as a freshman year empowerment programs, as well as getting them a job and become alumni to give back to the juniors. What's next for Carrier? We would like to use our strategy to build a very strong, sustainable business network to get more best practices out for our business partners and industry leaders and share that with more corporates in Hong Kong and in Asia Pacific. How did this solution help you? Kaeyang has given me different jobs opportunity to identify my career direction. Also, I have different roles in Kaeyang to become a student, to get empowered and share my experience to the youngs. To inspire and get inspired. What is Accessible Employment about? So, uh, essential element uh, of the innovation are to provide employment uh, guidance to the job seeker. What is unique and innovative about Accessible Employment? Training uh, people with disability to become the job coaches and working both with uh, a company, employer and the government officer at the national level, ensuring that uh, the practice is supported and uh, ensuring that the practice is influencing policy. How did this solution change your life? ตอบปัญญาโทรเว็บ <coughs> How does accessible employment work? Regarding the business model, we are working uh, to grow this model uh, and integrate it into the uh, government uh, to support the national effort. With the government collaboration, uh, we will co-branding our job coach manual uh, and we hope to embed the uh, model of coaching, working with uh, job coach uh, and job seeker and companies and employer into the national plans and we asked the government already to endorse uh, the training program and manual and tool to become the uh, national standard. What is next for accessible employment? Uh, our job coach manual uh, will be officially recognized as the uh, national models and it can be uh, integrated into the uh, government system uh, to support the national policy for the best benefit of people with disability. What is Disability Inclusive Poverty Graduation about?
to break the vicious cycle of poverty and disability, HI implements its disability inclusive poverty graduation model, uh, which ensures that uh, uh, persons with disabilities are empowered uh, and so that uh, their physical capacity are developed. And then uh, we ensure that they are systematically engaged in different livelihood and economic activities. What is unique and innovative about disability inclusive poverty graduation? HA working with people with disabilities uh, with different projects in all over the country and in different parts. And with this uh, uh, experience, HA learned that economic inclusion or economic activity is one of the key aspects for people with disabilities. So if they are economically empowered, so that means their uh, dignity increase in the society, in the family and everywhere. So that was the learning and with this learning we actually uh, innovated uh, this uh, disability inclusive poverty graduation model. How does disability inclusive poverty graduation work? So under the model, AJ basically uh, ensured that systematic uh, introduction of different uh, services, for example, Initial after selection, we provide all the rehabilitation services, for example, uh, therapeutic services, devices, and, and some accessibility work so that uh, they, they, are, they are able to perform their activities of daily living and income generating activities. And uh, after that, we uh, provide all the necessary skills for people with disabilities so they are all prepared uh, for engaging in income generating activities. What is next for disability inclusive poverty graduation? So to scale up this model, HI are also uh, currently uh, doing randomized control trial study uh, with the objective that um, this uh, graduation model can be replicated with other other organizations or other country programs so that uh, uh, HA is also able to give technical support to who are, who are willing to implement this graduation model. So that uh, the maximum number of people with disabilities could be benefited from this uh, disability inclusive property graduation model. What is Bicycle Training Program about? There are five key elements of our uh, Bicycle Rehabilitation Program for persons with disabilities, which includes mobility, health benefit, basic education, employment, and financial uh, security. What is unique and innovative about Bicycle Training Program? When I was working as a doctor in a hospital there, I saw the disappointment of PWDs and their relatives. They were not believing to be rehabilitated both physically and economically. So taking their pain and concern into account, I came up with ideas of bicycle rehabilitation. For the first time, I trained two PWDs under this idea in 2001. And after that, this idea was replicated in various provinces of Afghanistan, until date, Abrar trained more than 7,000 PWDs. How did this solution change your life? The physical is very good. The physical is very good. The physical is very good. The physical is حرفوی زدکری لخوا و ابراه مستین امون هلا که چه نور مالیون تم زمینه برابر کی چه بسکل چلوانه کی یا بسکل ورک لکی یا حرفوی زدکر کی یا سیکل سازی خیاتی بلک ما حرفوی نو مالیون سر باید مرس تو کی. How does bicycle training program work? The business model was very essential for the physical and economic reintegration of persons with disabilities in Afghanistan, which focused on the five key elements as I discussed earlier. Also, this program was financed by 
various donor like uh, Afghan Refugees Fund uh, in Caritas, Germany, European Commission, Medicare International, UNICEF, UNDCP, and other organizations. What is next for Bicycle Training Program? We have a list of more than 12,000 uh, PWDs in various provinces of Afghanistan whom we surveyed in waiting for the physical rehabilitation program. But due to lack of funding, we are not able to train them under this program, relieve them from disappointment and make them effective part of their communities. At this stage, we just need funding from donor agencies to train more than 12,000 PWDs waiting for the rehabilitation. Congratulations to our winners. Really, really well done. And we saw videos from the Middle East and the Far uh, and Southeast Asia. Our studio guest this morning is Emanuela Zaimi. Good morning, Emma. Good morning. Thank you for the invitation. It's such a pleasure to share the stage with you. <laughs> Thank you. It's always a pleasure to see you. Why don't we start with a brief introduction of yourself? Yeah, so my name is Emanuela Zaimi. I am the founder and the managing director of Down Syndrome Albania Foundation. Um, but uh, currently, and since uh, 2019, I reside in Vienna together with my family. Um, our organization is seven years old. It's, it's not that, um, that old, but um, our biggest impact has been in uh, changing the perception uh, about intellectual disability in Albania. Um, raising our voice uh, in terms of advocacy uh, and the, the most important thing has been uh, providing uh, the services that um, the government does not provide, so the NGO sector does, the, the therapeutic services for um, children and youth with uh, intellectual disability in Albania. Emma, we had the pleasure to watch these videos of the, of the abilities. Which one stayed in your mind or which aspects? Well, uh, as I was watching them, I was thinking that, um, you know, is this expression that think global and implement local. Um, I think um, across uh, the, the globe, every organization uh, and people with uh, disabilities have, um, let's say we have the kind of same needs. It's the way that um, um, the way that we uh, partner uh, and uh, um, maybe um, the way how we implement them that, that differs. But at the core of it, it's um, uh, when I think of, of a zero project every year that brings us all together, um, it's, it's, it's amazing how um, uh, we all um, want to bring forward, we have the same aim and the same um, purpose. Uh, while um, some of us are given the opportunities uh, to implement ideas, um, some governments do work um, uh, mainly more focused and with the biggest res responsibility. So um, in terms of employment as the conference um, this year is about this topic and, and ICT, um, I think that, um, uh, and most other people believe so, that um, it's important now that we focus on speaking out about the, uh, what the companies, what the business sector or even the public sector is losing out there um, with not employing people with disabilities, their talents, and um, um, on the other side, um, w we have to keep pushing the, the, the governments, the public um, um, officials uh, to, um, to um, um, make possible uh, the background for both the NGO sector, people with disability, and the business sector um, uh, to have the, all the facilities needed uh, to make a reality the employment of people with disability. Uh, it was interesting for me, um, uh, not interesting, but uh, what I like more is that uh, when we have testimonies of these people that are uh, employed, um, like everyone else, like all of us, they feel the um, when they are employed and they are empowered with skills, um, they feel um, the, the difference that we all feel. If we don't have a job or if we don't are uh, if we don't are productive, how do we feel the same? Uh, do they feel as well? So um, that's what's worth for the the, the light in, in in the eyes, the hope, uh, the the economic empowerment, the fact that they feel treated differently after after being employed and having a job. Thank you, 
Emma, you are a founder of an association. Please tell us about it, how you started and where do you stand right now? <laughs> well, um, maybe as 80-90% uh, of um, uh, people uh, that are involved in disability issues, it's uh, because of personal experience. Um, in 2011, I, I had my first child and he was born with Down syndrome. And there, there it's uh, where it all started. So um, in 2013, I decided that enough is enough, that in our country there was not a, um, 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 an official voice uh, speaking out the needs, the rights, and the potential of people with, um, with Down syndrome. Uh, and on the other side, it was the necessity to provide um, services for children with, uh, with Down syndrome. Um, I came from the business sector because I've studied PR and publicity and before I was working in, in, in banking or in energetic sector, but in advertising agencies and, and I had the, um, uh, the opportunity, so I had this network of businesses aside me, I didn't know anything about project management, uh, fundings of other type at that time, so I, all, what I did is mobilizing all of them um, uh, to build the center. and. Um, um, that's how we did and uh, now we um, uh, provide services not only to uh, children and youth with Down syndrome but with other types of intellectual disabilities. And uh, the magic also happened uh, two years ago when I joined for the first time Zero Conference because um, il living in Albania, Albania it's a, it's a country with um, a high ambitions for joining you <laughs> but uh, the, the resources are really uh, limited. Um, and my luck and our NGO's luck this time was uh, becoming part of Zero Project uh, two years ago and uh, getting to know um, amazing people and one of them, um, our biggest um, donor for our services now in Albania from Switzerland. So um, the, the financial sustainability, it's, it's, um, it's uh, always an issue for, for our NGO and for our sector in Albania. But trying hard and speaking loud, um, asking for help, um, it works. <laughs> Very good. We all live in, a, in times of a pandemic. Uh, what's the consequences of the COVID-19 for your organization? A, a brief answer, please. Yeah. Um, well, first it was the shock, uh, then how long it would last. Uh, we had to uh, transfer uh, all our services to the uh, to online, and it was interesting because this time the role, the main role, was of that of the parents, and our staff was supervising. Um, in terms of financial, uh, again, it was the um, uh, the fact that as business was hit, and our NGO relies a lot on the business sponsorship. Um, it had its own effect. Now, slowly, slowly, they are coming back. And um, the second, it was our fear of regress in, in, in children development. Um, but on the other side, I think it had, um, so from every crisis, we should take out the, the, what was the opportunity. So these online services is a new potential to reach out also to those children that are not uh, maybe based in Tirana, but in other cities, this was seen as, a, as an opportunity. And on the other hand, it was um, important because um, I think in th terms of awareness, I mean, we all experienced isolation, mental health, mm -hmm. um, and I hope that this made everybody think about how important it is to, to keep supporting each other and, um, you know, to, to learn um, to experience what others may be. So, we all experienced um, isolation and mental health um, and needs for job and insecurity. So I think this has made, um, hopefully, um, a more united community wherever, uh, where, wherever we live. We are slowly, slowly uh, getting back on track. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank uh, you, to you. Why don't you join me and we watch the second part of the award videos. Great. What is Accessibility App about? 
La aplicación es un recurso que promueve la participación ciudadana y la compromete con el cuidado y la mejora de su entorno. Pretende asegurar la movilidad y accesibilidad de las personas con discapacidad en igualdad de condiciones. El producto es accesible concibiéndose desde los principios del diseño universal. Además, permite una amplia diversidad de usos, iOS, Android y web. How does accessibility app work? El origen y el fin del proyecto es ser de utilidad a toda la ciudadanía, especialmente a las personas con discapacidad. Como entidad sin ánimo de lucro que somos, la estrategia de negocio es la propia sostenibilidad del recurso. What is unique and innovative about accessibility app? En España, la Ley General de los Derechos de las Personas con Discapacidad obligaba a que en el año 2017 todos los productos, entornos, bienes y servicios fueran accesibles. Ante este incumplimiento, desde COCENFE promovimos la creación de esta herramienta. Accesibilidad es la única PP en España que permite participar en la comunicación de barreras en la accesibilidad, promoviendo además su eliminación o mejora a través de la comunicación directa con las autoridades competentes. What is next for Accessibility App? Accesibilidad tiene un alto potencial para replicarse, ya que para implantar su uso en un nuevo territorio solo es necesario formalizar la colaboración entre las entidades responsables y COCENFE. El objetivo es lograr que las incidencias comunicadas por la ciudadanía sean resueltas por las autoridades competentes, promoviendo la implicación activa de la sociedad. Con la crisis de la COVID-19 se han ampliado las tipologías de incidencias denunciables, ya que se ha incrementado la necesidad de documentar y evidenciar las nuevas barreras que están surgiendo en el espacio público y la falta de accesibilidad de las soluciones improvisadas. How did this solution help you? Este es el deseo de mi vida, me voy a decir, manifestar la barrera que encuentro en mi día a día. A la hora de volver por el entorno. ¿Cómo que el ciclo de toda personal, de toda barrera que voy a dos pautas? Y estoy fumado de la evolución de su resolución. Por eso, se trae nuevos integradores. Además, con comunicarme de una manera inmediata y sencilla con la persona responsable del asunto. What is Tadeo about? Tadeo is a comprehensive solution designed for deaf people at work for phone calls, meetings, video conferences, trainings. This offers live transcription and sign language video interpretation from our platforms, both in French and English today. One of the key aspects of Tadeo is the immediate availability of our operators. We guarantee that at least 95% of the calls are answered in less than 30 seconds. Another key aspect, we provide a very secure environment allowing to comply with every kind of IT and confidentiality requirements. How does Tadeo work? The employer pays an annual fee per user. And the deaf user enjoys an unlimited access to Tadeo, whatever the frequency, the schedule, and the duration of the call. We are the only company able to propose such unlimited services. What is unique and innovative about Tadeo? We have created a real profession, e-transcription. It means a precise and real-time transcription of fast and interactive communication, such as phone calls and meetings, which automatic voice recognition is unable to do. What is next for Tadeo? We plan to pursue our development in Europe and around the world according to two drivers. First, continue to develop our services to other countries, as we already do in France, Belgium, Germany, and USA. Secondly, promote our technology to foreign public entities who already have experts but need a system dedicated to the professional environment. How did the solution help you? 
Tadeo m'a été proposé dans le cadre d'un accompagnement, d'un maintien de mon poste. Et donc du coup, sans Tadeo, je n'aurais pas pu maintenir mon poste de travail car en fait, je suis devenue sourde. Lorsque j'ai perdu l'audition, il y a eu tout un travail de fait de maintien de poste avec le SAMET et euh, les organismes publics. Et donc du coup, on a pu mettre en place Tadeo à ce moment-là et ça a tout changé euh, dans ma façon de voir mon handicap et mon, mon intégration au sein de l'équipe et mon travail au quotidien. Malgré le fait que je sois devenue handicapée, des outils comme Tadeo m'ont permis de garder ma fonction et même euh, de relever de nouveaux challenges que je ne pensais même pas que ça soit capable euh, sans l'aide de Tadeo. Merci à vous. What is Toleo about? So what are the essential elements of our innovation? We are building a learning platform for sign language that improves access, lower costs, at the same time as it improves the learning outcomes. In our platform, you can pick a lesson that is relevant to you and you can learn through play in an engaging manner. To help you retain what you have learned, you can go to our artificial intelligence-based reviewing tool that will help you review optimally. What is unique and innovative about Toleo? This solution came about when I was interviewing young parents to deaf children in Norway and learning that less than one in four was able to learn sign language. Internationally, that's even worse with one, less than one in 10 parents to deaf children able to learn sign language. That made us take action and that is why the core innovation of our platform is its ability to scale to new sign language in the matter of weeks. How did this solution change your life? Tuleo is convenient, easy and the elements of the gamification makes it very fun and it's very um, pleasing to send to extended families and friends to invite them to learn even more of our new family language, sign language. We love Tuleo. How does Tuleo work? We aim to make the platform free for end users. So in Norway, we work on government contracts in countries without a strong social security net, we work on a freemium model. We also want to strengthen local deaf associations. So we invite them to advertise their local sign language classes to our users that are close to them for free. That increases the local deaf associations activities and memberships, as well as increasing the revenue. What is next for Tuleo? Our major aspirations moving forward is to make the platform available to more people and also better help young parents to deaf children learn and enjoy sign language. In 2020, we have secured funding to expand the platform outside Norway to major European countries as well as India, Indonesia and China. The platform is currently in testing in many of those countries and we look forward to seeing the results. What is Riziki Source about? My name is Frederick Oko, the founder of Riziki Source, a social enterprise that helps connect persons with disabilities to job opportunities. Uh, the essentials of our innovation is uh, um, a mobile application that is downloadable on uh, Google Play Store. 
but also has a connection to uh, text messages where someone without a smartphone can uh, register on the database, but also someone with access to internet can register using um, our website. And all these two ways of con uh, registering are interlinked to uh, one uh, database that we are able to find uh, job seekers and know their profile. How does Riziki Source work? Our business model is uh, 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 fees paid for um, recruitment uh, for personal disability. So employers who use our platform pay 50% of a gross uh, a month salary of uh, a position for which they are recruiting for. And uh, personal disability pay 15% of that gross salary of one month um, after they receive uh, their first check of, of the job. We also offer consultancy services in disability inclusion at the workspace and uh, disability audit so that employers feel confident in uh, employing individuals with disability. What is unique and innovative about Riziki Source? We break the barriers of access to information uh, for persons with disability at a low cost. What is next for Riziki Source? Uh, our scale up strategy is to really increase our footprint within the country register as many job seekers as possible and um, employers who are willing to recruit personal disability using our platform, but also more um, great value uh, for persons with disability who are on the platform. So upskilling and also um, giving them other um, life skills that they would, would increase their employability. We're also looking at uh, how do we reach other African countries. How did this solution help you? I'm Patricia, I'm in my early 20s, currently I'm a brand ambassador and it's thanks to Riziki Source because I had to apply through Riziki Source to be able to be placed for the job and before I was even placed, Riziki Source had to take me through a training and I'm very happy and actually it came in handy because during Corona it was really hard getting a job but Riziki Source made it easy for me. What is My Human Kit about? Alors, notre innovation, c'est de fabriquer avec et pour les personnes en situation de handicap des aides techniques, des objets qui vont faciliter ou améliorer leur quotidien. Et chaque objet, chaque réalisation est documentée librement et partagée sur Internet. How does My Human Kit work? Alors, notre modèle économique qui repose sur trois aspects. Un premier aspect qui est une fonction social, une activité d'intérêt général qui est financée grâce à des subventions ou des donateurs. Des projets spécifiques et thématiques en deuxième axe, eux sont financés souvent par des appels à projets. Et, et un troisième axe, ce sont des prestations, souvent de sensibilisation ou d'événementiel auprès d'entreprises. Alors le déclencheur de My Human Kit, c'est la rencontre entre une personne en situation de handicap et un Fab Lab. Et en fait, dans cette rencontre-là, ce sont euh, nés de la créativité, des apprentissages et de la prise de conscience. Donc là, on s'est dit, est-ce qu'on ne peut pas reproduire, essayer de reproduire ça pour d'autres personnes Et aujourd'hui, est-ce qu'on a une concurrence dans ces enjeux-là Eh bien, pas trop, parce que finalement, on ne s'inscrit pas dans le marché des aides techniques, mais bien dans une alternative pour se fabriquer son propre What is next for my human kit alors ce qu'on aimerait à l'avenir, c'est pouvoir accueillir un peu plus de personnes, donc avoir un espace plus grand et avoir plus de bénévoles, plus de salariés pour pouvoir répondre encore plus aux besoins et aux demandes qui nous, qui nous sont adressées. Euh, et pour ça, on a aussi besoin de changer d'échelle et d'arriver à créer tout un réseau de Human Lab, donc de structures qui pourront permettre partout à travers la France et le monde que des personnes se fabriquent leurs propres aides techniques pour handicap. How did the solution help you Je m'appelle Bastien, je suis ingénieur méthode chez Ariane Group. Et dans mon métier, je suis amené à signer des documents. Le problème, c'est que j'ai des difficultés pour tenir un stylo. En fait, je n'ai pas assez de force pour serrer des objets. C'est de ce besoin qu'est né ExoFinger, un exosquelette de doigts. Et ce projet d'orthèse motorisée n'existe pas dans le commerce. On a pu travailler sur un modèle fonctionnel. 
Donc j'ai pu signer mon premier autographe. What is Rehab about? We work in the field of community-based rehabilitation and we started realizing increasingly that rehabilitation field workers often lack the knowledge, lack the skills and the insights to adequately respond to the needs of people with disabilities. We wanted to change something and therefore we started developing the Rehab, a smartphone application that will help field workers to do their work better and to respond better to the needs of the people whom they are serving. How did this solution change your life? It's easily accessed by my smartphone and I can use it offline and uh, I use it so much, uh, in not as much to, to learn in the field, but to be able to quickly open to something and show a parent and e help explain or clarify a point to a, to a, to a parent or caregiver, and, and uh, maybe show sometimes some processes what I want to do, or just point something, you know, it is a, a, a ready tool in my hand to help clarify. You know, when parents get their, their child diagnosis of cerebral palsy, a lot of confusion, worry about the future. And the rehab app is the app very useful to help me to explain to parents essential information about CP, like what is CP and cause of CP, and also how they can help children. How does rehab work? To make the rehab available for as much people as possible, it can be downloaded for free in the Google and Apple Store, and once downloaded, it's available offline. What is next for rehab? Thanks to new funding and feedback from the field, we're currently working on revising the app architecture and integrating new features. This will allow users around the world to not only access up-to-date information on disabilities, but also add client information, plan for rehabilitation interventions, and monitor those. What is PDS Work Inclusion about? The founding principle of PDS is modularity, allowing quick replacement of components with other advantageous components if and when the opportunity presents itself. The base of PDS is our advanced technology that is designed to be integrated and very easily adapted to various existing infrastructures. Our software utilizes a combination of the VoIP network the connections of users, and a distributed application to add voice synthesis and speech recognition services. What is unique and innovative about PDS work inclusion? The concept of PDS was created after our CEO saw an interview of a deaf man involved in a car accident, left stranded for hours, unable to call for help. The idea that in a world of technology, a deaf person can't utilize a basic communication tool led PDS to create a solution specifically designed for deaf employees. How did this solution change your life?
How does PDS Work Inclusion work? The Work Inclusion solution is purchased by the company supporting the deaf or hard of hearing employee. The cost starts at $30 per activated employee, but the final price is dependent upon the size of the company and the number of employees being activated for our service. What is next for PDS Work Inclusion? Although accessibility is becoming a highlighted topic, this relevance does not always affect the budgets of larger enterprises or governmental bodies that we see as potential partners. For this reason, the most urgent need is dependable connections and support to enter these new countries that may be unfamiliar to us. Congratulations to our winners. Really well done. We saw a lot of technology in this session. Please stay with us. We will have another AWD hour at 3 uh, p.m. Central European time and the meet and greet sessions at 1 p.m. Thank you and goodbye. Wer soll eigentlich die Natur für künftige Generationen schützen? Staaten? Unternehmen? Wir selbst? Sollten wir das nicht alle gemeinsam tun? Also hören wir auf, nur zu reden. Verändern wir was. Gemeinsam. Und ein wichtiger Teil davon ist, was wir alle mit unserem Geld tun. Wenn wir darauf schauen, dass unser Geld Unternehmen zugutekommt, die sich für die Umwelt einsetzen, dann lassen wir auch unser Geld Gutes tun. Denn wenn ich in 50 Jahren mal mit meinen Enkelkindern hierher komme, will ich sagen können, wir haben es geschafft. Gemeinsam. Gemeinsam verändern. Bank Austria.